Hello, I'm Hannah Thibodeau. This is CBC News Network, and we begin with an update and some breaking news on the investigation into one of Toronto's worst mass shootings, Toronto area. The community of Vaughan, less than an hour's drive north of Toronto, is in shock after a gunman killed five people inside a condo building last night. Now, last hour, the York Regional Police Chief released new details about the suspect and the victims. There was an in, uh, interaction between the officers and a 73-year-old male suspect, a resident of that building, who died on the third floor. He's been identified as Francesco Villi. We can say all victims reside in the condo building. Three victims were members of the condominium board, but the motive for the shooting remains part of this very complicated and very fluid investigation, which is still ongoing at this time. Let's bring in the CBC's Ithil Musa, who is listening in to the police chief, and she's actually at the crime scene in Vaughan with more on what he had to say. And Ithil, we really got a few more answers, but there's still a lot we don't know. So take us through what else the chief had to say. Yeah, you know, I mean, he was being pressed a little bit about what the motive possibly could be. Let's give you a little bit of information about the victims. Their names have not yet been released. Authorities say they're going to leave that to the coroner's office to do. But what we do know, as that clip uh, just revealed, the five victims were residents uh, of the condo and three of them were on uh, the condo board and the shootings happened in three different uh, units. Now there is a sixth victim, Hannah, as well. That uh, victim, the 66 year old, is the wife of the condo board president. His name is John Danino. Uh, a spokesperson for the family confirmed that. He's also the president of the Amalgamated Transit Union. The union confirmed that as well. What we have learned is that Danino was in his suite when his wife was shot. Now, she is in hospital and she is expected uh, to recover. Now, of course, people are asking, uh, did any of these shootings have anything to do with the condo board? Uh, police were pressed on it again today further. And this is a little bit of what the chief had to say on that. We have to look at every aspect of it, and, and one of them will be what is his relationship to the victims, um, what is his relationship to the board. But I can't report or confirm any of that information yet because we're still interviewing people and, and conducting search warrants, so there's a lot of work still to be done. It's going to take us several days to, to get through a lot of information. Now, CBC did connect with some of the neighbors and residents that live here, Hannah, and they have said that uh, Villy had a, a sort of a long standing conflict with the condo board. It was a sort of an ongoing thing, and he had made some posts on social media about that, but police are not yet uh, making any connections. Uh, that is something that we expect will be revealed uh, in the coming days and weeks. Yeah, we know you'll keep your eye on that for us. But also, Ithil, it is not surprising. There's huge reaction, huge sadness. What are you hearing? Yeah, many of the neighbors uh, that CBC spoke to are quite shocked that something like this could happen. It's not every day that people are shot and killed uh, in your apartment building in a relatively uh, safe neighborhood. Uh, police revealed uh, that the suspected shooter used a semi-automatic handgun. He was shot and killed by a 24-year veteran. Uh, of course, uh, as expected, uh, there are tributes that are pouring in. Uh, this morning, uh, Premier uh, Doug Ford tweeted, I'm sure shocked and saddened by the tragic shooting in Vaughan last night. Mm -hmm. All of Ontario is thinking of the victims of this senseless violence and the family and friends grieving their loss. He also paid uh, tribute, obviously, uh, to the uh, first responders. Uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, the uh, Prime Minister, followed a few hours later. He said to the families and friends of the victims of yesterday's shooting in mm -hmm. Vaughan, I'm keeping you in my thoughts. To the person who was injured, I'm wishing you a fast and full recovery. And to the first responders, thank you for your hard work and your professionalism. We also uh, heard uh, from the newly elected mayor, Stephen uh, Del Duca. You know, he was here earlier today. He's just been newly elected and he's lived here for, for, for three decades. And he also, Hannah, had expressed some shock. This is a community that I've lived in proudly for more than three decades. Uh, Vaughan is a safe community, uh, but my heart goes out to the victims, uh, their families, uh, to people who knew them. Uh, it's just unspeakable to imagine that this has taken place here in our community. 
So now, Hannah, we are just awaiting, you know, more information as this investigation unfolds as to what exactly was the motive that led uh, the alleged shooter to kill five people. Okay, Ithil Musa in Vaughan, north of Toronto, thank you for your reporting. You're welcome.